once you are a young person, the most important thing is your identity. Who are you in this world? What is your purpose? What must you do? And what destiny must you reach as a person? I am Llewellyn Scholes, Executive Director of a non-profit organization, Genus Community IT Initiative, or also the ICANN Center. My role within this organization is to ensure that training is being offered and also empower all citizens with digital skills. We know there is a digital skills gap or the digital divide, and our organization narrows that gap within South Africa. We do face challenges such as high unemployment and also a lack of opportunities. There was a need in the community to be uplifted, empowered, and that is what gave birth to Genesis Community IT Initiative. We are housed at a facility called the ICANN Center, where our organization operates from within Elsie's River, the Cape Flats region, and from here as the headquarters, we empower all citizens with access to technology. Our facility has a range of what we would say academic spaces and also industry ready spaces. And we offer a range of digital services to them. We would find a range of what we would say computer labs, and inside these spaces, that is where the training and the empowerment takes place. We also have creative spaces because when we talk about youth, once they obtain the digital skills, they have two options. Either they venture into the job market or they venture into an entrepreneurship space. For that reason, we've created a space called the Makerspace. Makerspaces make youth entrepreneurs industry ready. One of our training models, which we've also included, is called leadership, apart from mentoring. Because what helps young people to become sustainable is to see themselves as leaders and also function as leaders. We then discovered that if we would train our young people electronics and how to repair a mobile phone, they would be able to become local entrepreneurs. And we would like to call them mobile tech champions. Technology for us is very important because once we integrate technology with youth, we find that they are innovative. Adoption of technology within our context would be people that would walk away from gangsterism, young people that would walk away from domestic abuse or even substance abuse. Finding technology as a solution and even as an enablement to help themselves. And if they can use technology as an enabler, it can help them within themselves, their self-confidence, their self-esteem, but moreover, it can actually help them to build the future and eventually find employment. So once we provide these training to youth, we also enable them to receive SACWA credits, accredited that they can actually take this course further. Our organization, we were privileged to travel to Italy to international labor organization and being trained, empowered, and actually had access directly with ILO. Our ultimate understanding is youth are the custodians of technology of this very future inside South Africa. And we've seen great impact how these young people wellness are impacted when new skills are introduced. And we also motivate them in order for them to understand the impact of this program and also what this program entails. Youth needs innovation. So the ICANN Center is a place of innovation and skills to help youth to unlock their talent. Our motto is called changing lives through technology. When we deal with technology and youth, we are actually empowering them and we are changing their lives.